Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwa Bloom. So in this video, we'll be looking at logarithms class 8 AIM 1 packages, Maths Techno. So we'll begin with the AIM. So first question in the Perl package, log the logarithms cannot be defined for. Now these logarithms are generally defined for positive real numbers, natural numbers, but they are not defined for non-negative, sorry, non-positive real numbers. That means negative real numbers, they are not defined, right? So obviously, the correct option would be B. Now second question, if x to the power P is equal to Q, then what is P? So what is P? Just write it in the logarithmic form. So P is equal to log Q, sorry, log Q to the base x. Correct. So, what is the option? It is B. Okay. Now, we will look at the third question here. So, log 0 0.001 to the base 0 0.01. This is the question. Understood. Now, first, we have to find out, we have to simplify it. So, how do we simplify? Log is there. Now 0 0.001 is 0 0.01 whole cube to the base 0 0.01. Correct. Now this power whatever it is there it will come here in the front as you all know. So 3 log 0 0.01 to the base 0 0.01. Now when, the bo when both the base and the number is same it is considered to be 1. This entire thing is just 1. Understood. So 3 into 1 is 3. It is option D. So third one is option D. Okay. First one is B. Second one is B. Third one is D. Clear. So let me move on to the next questions. Now looking at the fourth question. Log 1 to the base 1. What is the answer they are asking? Now log 1 to the base 1. Suppose assume it to be x. Correct. So now this is the base. So 1 power x is equal to 1. Am I right? Now is it possible? Obviously, this is undefined. This is not defined. Remember, okay. Log 1 to the base 1 is always not defined. Next. Log 4 to the base x is equal to minus 1 by 3. So what is the value of x? Now how do we solve this? Now first, it is in the logarithmic form, so convert it to exponential form, right? So how will we convert it? This 4 will be here as it is, x to the power minus 1 by 3, right? Now minus 1 by 3, when I wanted to make it plus 1 by 3, it is just the reciprocal, right? So x4 is equal to 1 by x to the power minus, sorry, plus 1 by 3. Now what I am going to do is, now when you have something a to the power 1 by 2, it just means square root of a. Now if I am having 3 here, it is the cube root. Am I correct? So same thing we are going to apply here. Correct. So 4 is equal to 1 by cube the root of x. Now until here it is clear, right? Now what we are going to do? Just uh, we will send this one to uh, LHS and 4 to RHS. Right, so what it is going to be cube root of x is equal to 1 by 4. Correct. Now, cube root of 4. Now, cube root when I am sending to RHS, it will become cube, right? So, 1 by 4 whole cube. Correct. Next, x is equal to 1 cube is 1 and 4 cube is 64. So, x value is nothing but 1 by 64 which is option A. And for fourth one, it is option D. Okay, now let's look on, look at the next questions. Next, looking at the sixth question, log 4 to the base 1 by x is equal to minus 2. Then what is the value of x? Now, however, we solve the fifth one, right? Similarly, we are going to solve the sixth one also. So now this is in the logarithmic form. We are going to convert it to exponential form. So this will be 4 will be here itself is equal to 1 by x to the power minus, sorry, to the power minus 2. Am I correct? 
Next, I want to make this power minus 2 to be a positive 1. So, what I am going to do? In the previous question, it was 1 by, sorry, x to the power minus 1 by 3 and we just wrote it as 1 by x power 1 by 3. Now, here it is like, you know, 1 by x to the power minus 2. Now, just we will simply make it as x because we want the reciprocal. x square we will get them. We will get the positive power. Understood? So, it is very simple. Now, I am going to apply the same thing here. Now, x by 1 to the power plus 2. Now, minus 2 becomes plus 2. Right? So, now 4 is equal to x square he told. Now, x and this square is there, right? I am going to send it to LHS. It becomes root. Now, when it is becoming root, remember one thing. You are going to put plus or minus. Before it, plus or minus. Because plus 2 square is also 4. Minus 2 square is also 4. So, you are going to put both plus or minus. So, plus or minus to the root 4. And x is equal to plus or minus so that is the answer which is option C. Right. Next, we will look at the seventh question. Now, the question says log 10 to the base A exists for. Obviously, A should never be 1 and A should always be greater than 0. For these two conditions, this will exist. This uh, logarithm will exist. So, option A, looking at the next questions. So, statement type of questions are 8, 9, 10. So, statement A of 8th question. Log 16 to the base 2 is equal to log 16 to the base 4. Now, do you think it is true? Obviously, no. We already discussed this in the note points, right? So, this is obviously not true. It is a false statement. You can simply put a cross. Next. Log A to the base a is equal to a. It is wrong. Log a to the base a is not a. It is 1. When both the number and uh, base are same, it is going to be 1. So, both the statements are wrong. So, which is option B. Right. Ninth question. Log 1 to the base b is equal to 0. So, this one is a true statement because b to the power 0 is equal to 1. Just exponential form I have written for this. So, it is correct. Exponential form is b is power 0 is equal to 1 and statement A is correct. Now, log minus 2 to the base minus 2 is equal to 1. Obviously, first and foremost is that logarithms cannot be defined for uh, negative real numbers. That is non-positive real numbers. Logarithm cannot be defined. And here he has given us something negative. Now, how could you do it? Obviously, you will simply have to mention not defined because logarithm is not defined for negative numbers. So, statement B is false because he told it as 1, right? So, option C is the right answer. Tenth question. Logarithm of non-positive real numbers cannot be defined. That is a correct statement. Let A and N B uh, belong to, to uh, positive real numbers and a is not equal to 1. If x is a real number uh, such that a power x is equal to n, then n is called the logarithm of n to the base a. It is denoted by log n to the base a. So, all this I have explained in the challenges introductory part. So, it is the same thing, right? It is also correct. And it is option a. Both are right statements only. Okay, let's move forward. Now, 11th question. Read the passage. It is the same thing. So, I just won't want to repeat it. So, among the following are defined values. So, option is log 2 to the base 1. Now, do you think it is defined? No. Because the base shouldn't be equal to 0. That is a condition already given in the passage. Here, obviously, A should not be equal to 1. So, that is not defined. A is wrong. Next, it is not defined. Next, log minus 2 to the base 4. Obviously, logarithm is not defined for negative numbers. So, this is also not defined and it is wrong. Option C. Log minus 3 to the base minus 3. 
so negative numbers logarithm is not defined wrong and last option is log 0.1 to the base 1 by 5 now this is guess it is defined because this 1 by 5 you can still uh, uh, divide it right so that you will get the value it's 0 0.2 correct so you can simply write 0 0.2 instead of this so log 0 0.1 to the base 0 0.2 now this is something which is defined so option is d for 11th one so let's move on to the next question okay 12th question log m to the base 2 exists for so first and foremost condition is that m should be greater than 0 then only it will get existed if m is equal to 0 no way if m is not equal to 0 also we can't say right and m is less than 0 no way so obviously it is m should be greater than 0 so option a 13th question logarithmic form of 7 cube is equal to 343 so so many questions you have done right so what first what you will write the power powerful number write it big then you will write uh, equal to immediately log then 343 as it is so base whatever is the base here same base will put here correct so this is option a now with this we have completed the pearl package let's move on to the emerald package now so first one in emerald package is log root 243 to the base 3 now root 243 how we will find by the prime factorization method so three table will go three eights are one sa three two sa three seven sa three nine sa three three sa and three one sa now what is the prime factorization it is three power five now log this two forty three root two forty three i'm just going to write it as root three power five to the base three fine now what we can do is when you are having a root over a you can just write it as a to the power 1 by 2 you all know right because here it is 2 so you i hope you remember this then so what i'm going to do same thing here it is a root right so 1 by 2 i'm going to multiply to the power 5 so it is 3 to the power 5 into 1 by 2 the what it is going to be 5 by 2 to the base 3 so this 5 by 2 this power generally whatever where we will write it's here right so same thing i'm going to do 5 by 2 log 3 to the base 3 now here when both the base and the number are the same this entire value is 1 correct so 5 by 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5 by 2 itself so what is the answer it is option b now let's move on to the next question so second question is assertion and reasoning type question if log 2x plus 1 to the base 11 is equal to 1 then x is equal to 5 now let, let us solve this this is in the logarithmic form we are going to convert it to the exponential form so what it is going to be 2x plus 1 is equal to 11 power 1 correct so first and foremost what we are going to do just send this to rhs this minus 1 send it to rhs 2x is equal to 11 minus 1 that is 10 and 2 1s are 2 5s are so what is the value of x x is 5 so this is the uh, in the given statement also it is correct so this statement which is given it is true okay now reason log a to the base a is 1 where a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1 obviously this is a true statement but it is not something which is relating the assertion so wrong explanation we can see wrong explanation we can see so option will be b not right explanation for the assertion okay let's see the next questions so third question among the following not an incorrect statement not an incorrect means it is going to be a true statement we have to search understood so uh, one second so option a is log 16 to the base 2 is equal to log 16 to the base 4 can the basis be different and answers be the same no way so it's a incorrect statement 
option b log minus 2 to the base minus 2 obviously logarithms are not defined for non positive real numbers but here these are negative which are non positive real numbers so it is not defined that is it is a incorrect statement now c log 1 to the base 572 is equal to 0 now just you can simply write it as 1 is equal to 572 to the power 0 and which is correct so c is correct now d log 312 to the base 312 is 1 obviously using the identity log sorry log, oh, one second. log a to the base a that is nothing but 1 so this is a correct statement so obviously c and d are the true statement that, that means which are not an incorrect statement so mark it as c and d so fourth one is among the following a not defined value whatever is nd we have to find that not defined understood so first one log 2 to the base 1 base shouldn't be 1 obviously so this is not defined so that means it's a correct one next b log 0 0.1 to the base 0 0.5 now log 0 0.1 now 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 it is defined right so we can't take this it's a wrong option it is defined value next c log minus 3 to the base minus 3 see logarithms cannot be defined for negative real numbers so obviously it is the correct one and same reason d is also correct one because here minus 2 it is there so log minus 2 to the base 4 is also not a defined value so obviously options a c d are the right options for this question with this we have not only completed the classroom packages we have also completed the aim 1 of logarithms so in the next video we will be looking at the aim 2 so do like share and subscribe to vishwa blooms also please support us don't forget to click the bell icon for getting all the notifications bye bye see you in the next video